Oh, yeah. <laughs> Whose idea was this? Robert. The British and the Americans were dug into their positions, literally. The British digging canals to float men and supplies. The Americans to build a defensive barrier and deepen the canal in front of it. If you've caught this show before, then you know I'm not a chef. You're not a natural. <laughs> but if you love to eat, if you think every meal should be an event, a celebration, I know something about celebrating. It's not my birthday, but I am celebrating. <laughs> <laughs> So with the truth out of the way, let's take a bite out of this Tammany taste. President Franklin Roosevelt's call to duty and to war still echoes today at Pearl Harbor and throughout this country, especially here at the National World War II Museum in New Orleans. I'm Tom Gregory, and welcome to this electronic field trip where you'll have a chance to learn more about the day of infamy. Liz's menu is as long as a novel with something for everyone. Seafood scramblers? for me. What's in this bad boy? Crawfish, shrimp, jumbo lump crabby, all my vegetables, pepper jack cheese, and a Cajun hollandaise sauce. Great googly moogly. That is, that is just amazing. I want You're going to eat some of that. See, this is what we do in Louisiana. We share, even if we have cooties or not. Do you have cooties? <laughs> Welcome to Louisiana Artist Spotlight. I'm Tom Gregory, and we're here at the Contemporary Arts Center, the cultural hub of New Orleans' vibrant warehouse art district. As you can see, the CAC is between shows, but the bare walls do demonstrate what would be missing from our lives without the defining beauty of the art of our time. With Louisiana's colorful culture, its unique combination of music, food, and art, the difficult part of exploring it is trying to define it. So instead, we shine a spotlight on a few of Louisiana's established and emerging artists who are translating our culture into form. In their own words, each artist shares their thoughts on creativity, influence, and the power of their own work. But first, how these creative talents have been inspired by the beauty and the beat of New Orleans and the great state of Louisiana. Fish so fresh the seagulls are saying goodbye to their friend from yesterday. He was there yesterday, I don't know what happened to him. It's right here, playing with my asparagus. Because the star of the show is the seafood. You don't need all the other zhuzh. You just don't have to overthink it. What's zhuzh? You know, zhuzh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking for the culinary definition of zhuzh. zhuzh? I don't yeah, know. The, the extra zhuzh. zhuzh. I think I just came up with something. <laughs> There's nothing in this place you need. We sell once. I want, <laughs> I want the banana split. <laughs> I'm going full McFly on this one, yeah. people. We'll do the whole full thing. McFly. In this time warp of awesomeness, portions are the size of cars from the 1950s. And the banana's there to make sure you know it's healthy. Look at that food. And now look at that man. <laughs> I was told early in my television career that you should not do TV with children, animals, and good-looking dudes that can cook. Welcome to the end of my television career. Today, by remembering Pearl Harbor, we mark not only the sacrifices made on this day 75 years ago, we mark the price of freedom. From the National World War II Museum in New Orleans, I'm Tom Gregory. Thank you for joining us.